Welcome back. Happy Poetry Friday. Today I'm going to read a poem entitled Letter in November by Sylvia Plath. Love, the world suddenly turns, turns color. The street light splits through the rat's tail pods of the laburnum at nine in the morning. It is the Arctic, this little black circle with its tawn silk grasses, baby's hair. There is a green in the air, soft, delectable. It cushions me lovingly. I am flushed and warm. I think I may be enormous. I am so stupidly happy, my Wellington squelching and squelching through the beautiful red. This is my property. Two times a day I pace it, sniffing the barbarous holly with its viridian scallops, pure iron and the wall of the odd corpses. I love them. I love them like history. The apples are golden. Imagine it. My seventy trees holding their gold ruddy balls in a thick gray death soup. Their million gold leaves metal and breathless. O oh, love. O oh, celibate. Nobody but me walks the waist-high wet. The irreplaceable golds bleed and deepen the mouths of Thermopylae. There is so much to love about this poem, the richness of the sound. On the page, there's loads of enchantment and interesting placement of words. Sylvia Plath, whose poetry is frequently depressing, explores a complex tension between her exuberance at being pregnant and, and the rest of her griefs and fears and sorrows in the background. There's a sharpness and an edge to a lot of it, like the scalloped edges of the holly. And who is the letter to? Is it to the unborn child? Plath's poems are often rich with feeling and ambiguity, which allow you to digest them and process them. And that's what makes them fun. So I'll let you stew on this one for a while. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week with another poem. Have a great week. Bye-bye.